Hello, so today I'll be reviewing the The Audio Clairvoyance. As always, disclaimers first, this item is my personal unit. I have not been paid to say anything good or bad about them. I will review them to the best of my abilities, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. Also, the, the cable that I used for this review is not the stock one. So by now, The Audio is well known for their tribrids, especially their OG tribrid twins, the Monarch and Clairvoyance. While the Monarch seems to be the more favored sibling among the audiophile community, I've still heard praise for the Clairvoyance. In this review, I'll be finding out if the praise is warranted and if the Clairvoyance is worth its retail price of $700. So firstly, the for drivability, the Clairvoyance is fairly easy to drive. You don't need a lot of power for it to uh, get to listening levels. However, more power doesn't hurt the Clairvoyance I found in my experience. And for accessories, the stock case is pretty mediocre. It's flat while being long and wide, and it doesn't have a zipper. It closes with magnets, and it's not really sturdy feeling, and I wouldn't recommend it for storing your items during travel. I'd, I'd recommend something more sturdy, like maybe a Pelican case. And I don't have the stock cable, so the 2.5 millimeter adapters are all right. They're solidly built with metal, but they add an extra length to your jack. So if you accidentally put too much pressure on it, you might break the jack or your uh, or your adapter. So it's not really the most um. It's not the best adapters. That's what I'm trying to say, and. The stock foam tips are all right. They're pretty. They're about average in terms of foam tips, I'd say. So like, they're nothing special. Um, however, I wouldn't recommend using them with the clairvoyance because, well, as I'll talk about later on, it it messes with the sound, especially the treble. And the spin fits are alright, they're just your regular spin fits, nothing much to say about them there. So, the Clairvoyance has a resin shell and a metal nozzle, as you can see right here. And, um, the resin makes the shell nice and lightweight, so it's not too heavy there. The faceplate has a finish with, uh, glitter and, I don't- other stuff I guess I don't know what it is and it creates like kind of a two-tone look it's kind of pearlescent which I'm not the biggest fan of because it kind of looks too it it doesn't look coherent the design and honestly the faceplate looks like a kid's art project it's pretty cheap looking not gonna lie and as for the two pin connectors they're not recessed which could lead to potential wear and tear on the pins themselves, which I'm not a fan of because, you, you know, wear and tear isn't good. And if it breaks your cable, then it's not that good. And for fit, the Tribrid Twins are known for having a big body with average nozzles. And I can definitely confirm this. The IM fits my ears like customs, being a close fit but without discomfort or pain. This obviously leads to a secure and decently comfortable IM as I've worn the clairvoyance for multiple hour-long sessions. However, what's comfortable to me may be way too big and uncomfortable for you, so I would definitely recommend demoing the clairvoyance to see if you can wear it comfortably. And so, on to the sound. For the bass, the bass is at a satisfying level with a nicely elevated bass shelf that levels out before it could bleed into the mid-range. Both the mid bass and sub bass are about the same level for me and make songs that require them to sound nice on the clairvoyance. However, what wasn't so good about the bass is the fact that the texture isn't up to par, especially for the price point. This is surprising because the clairvoyance has a DD for the bass frequencies, which should provide a decent amount of bass texture, but somehow I found it very lacking on the clairvoyance. So on to the mids. I found the mids nice and forward. I found that both male and female vocals were about on par for forwardness, and there was a good amount of vocal texture. Instruments sounded fairly lively and pleasant in the mix. However, I think sometimes 
I I feel like the mids were kind of unnatural. Like th there was an uncanniness to them, y you know. So it didn't sound natural at times, but for the most part, they're pretty decent. They're pretty good. And for the trouble, I found it kind of disappointing considering the price point and the technology, since the clairvoyance is like using EST drivers for the trouble, I believe. I found the extension to not be great, actually. Like, it was pretty mediocre. And it causes the clairvoyance to be lacking the airiness that true extension will provide. However, at least I don't feel like I'm suffocating for air, which is kind of like the bare minimum. Like, honestly, I think that the Dunu Titan S has, like, the same amount of air, if not maybe a bit more, to my ears. Which kind of says something. Like, it's pretty disappointing on the clairvoyance. But at least I didn't hear any siblings, so that's that, I guess. Also... One more thing I have to mention, the, the, the trouble on the clairvoyance sounds unnatural as well, which I, I've only heard two sets that used ESTs, the Unique Melody Mest Mark 1 and this set, the, the Audio Clairvoyance, and for both of them, the trouble sounded really unnatural, like, but f f first I have to clarify that for the Mest, everything sounded kind of unnatural especially the vocals they sound like kind of off and a little hollow but then again i haven't heard it for a month so take that with a grain of salt and for this as i've said the mids are kind of unnatural at times and so is the trouble i i don't think i've for, for the trouble i don't think it's the est's uh wispy qualities that critical says it it can uh have but Honestly, it's kind of, I'm not a fan of ESD drivers from what I've heard, so if, if, you've, if you're interested in a tribrid, I would definitely recommend demoing it first to see if you're okay with how they sound, especially the trouble, because ESTs aren't really that good from what I've heard. Obviously, I could be wrong. It could be the implementations for the manufacturers, but as I said, eh, I'm not a fan. And so, technicalities. Detail retrieval is adequate for the price point. Like, it's not out of the park. It's not on the level of something like what I heard the mess to be. Which, as I said, take that with a grain of salt. But it's definitely not, like, punching above its price point, I'd say. Um... Soundstage is a bit wider than average for IM, so it's kind of out of your head, but mm, it could it, it could definitely be better. I'm I'm a hundred percent certain there are sets out there with better soundstage. And imaging is above average. And layering and separation are adequate, and I mean. Something about the set is like the way it portrays, like the technicalities. It's mm, how do I say it? It's just I I can hear when when reviewers say that they they hear the notes being blunted. I I can kind of feel that. I can hear it, and it it kind of leads to. It leads to this I am not being like the most technical, which I've heard people say as well. They're like, oh, the Monarch is more technical. I kind of doubt it, though, because like this is the twin, right? But um, honestly, I let me say before the final thoughts, I think that the bluntedness leads to like a pleasant I am to listen to. Not, not to mention, the bass does lend it some warmth, so it's like an I am on the warmer side that's pleasant to listen to. Which, I mean, could be your cup of tea. Oh wait, I should do final thoughts. I'm rambling too long. Okay, so final thoughts. The Theo Audio Clairvoyance is a pretty pleasant I am to listen to, and I think quite a few people will enjoy listening to them. 
because the clairvoyance leans towards warmth. However, like most items on the pricier side, I don't think they're worth the price. Maybe if they're going for 350 instead of 700 I'd be happy to recommend them. However, for now, I'd only recommend getting the clairvoyance if you want a non-fatiguing, warm, and pleasant listen, and don't mind shelling out big bucks for it, or unless you get a killer deal on this one. Either way, I have an item that I'd prefer over this one, but that's for another review. And that's it. Uh, so, ending thoughts done. Mm, what should I say for the ending, since I know no one will watch the end anyways? Uh, well, do you guys have any uh, ideas on what I could do on this channel? Because I don't want to just do reviews, and honestly... I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of making videos already. It's it's boring, it's not fun. I don't get much enjoyment from them, but I, I want to do them anyway. Just, just so I can record, you know? Maybe I should be doing something else, but yeah. Anyways, uh, hope you guys have a good day afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this. Uh, I'll see you next review. Bye.